The giant turbines that power some of the city's oldest pumps have been in use for more than a century, and not much has changed about them in that time. Four of the five turbines, basically generators, use an uncommon kind of electricity known as 25 cycle power, which still uses steam to make them run. The fifth turbine, the only one working today, was rebuilt a few years ago and uses what's called 60 cycle electricity. That comes from Entergy and is a standard type of electricity these days. That turbine can convert its 60 cycle power to 25 cycle power to send to the old pumps. And that's what's happening today, but it's far from ideal. So how do we get to this point? Turbine one, it caught fire overnight. We don't know yet how long it's gonna to take to fix. Turbine two, well, it hasn't been in use for decades. In fact, it was taken offline back in the 70s. Turbines three and five, they broke a few weeks ago and engineers hope to have them working again soon. The combined price tag to fix them, it comes in at a whopping $36 million. As for Turbine 4, it hasn't worked since 2012. It's supposed to be fixed by December after $15 million worth of work. That's left Turbine 6 to handle everything on its own, pumping, water, and sewage. It's a lot for one piece of equipment to handle, and right now, there's no backup systems in place. Sewage and Water Board officials say they're pretty confident the pumps can handle everything if the rain stays light. But if another round of strong storms dumps a lot of rain across the city, pump operators from all East Bank plants on the west side of the Industrial Canal will call into the main plant to ask for converted power from Turbine 6, but there's a limited supply to go around. So that means not all pumps can run and flooding that Mayor Landrieu fears could happen. There is a possibility that that turbine will be put back uh, in, 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 in use and then we'll be in better shape, but I'm still not comfortable and we are gonna create redundancy in this system during the hurricane season so we don't have uh, this hiccup again. It's work the mayor says can't happen soon enough. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. There might be some permanent relief on the way for the turbines. The Sewerage and Water Board says it has plans in the works to take single turbines out of service and rebuild them one by one as part of upgrades to the main plant.